Hello, today I've got a question for you. How much is diving into your local decorators merchant screw fix or tool station costing you? I found out and believe me, I was shocked. Hi, my name's Trevor, I run a small decorating company. We love to share our work and what we get up to. Also, we love to share our little hints and tips so hopefully when it comes to doing your project, you can save some time and money. If you think this is something that might help you, why not click that subscribe button and hit that bell icon and then you'll be reminded every time we upload a new video. A few weeks ago, we did a video discussing the hot topic of customer supply materials. I'll put a link up there, there, there or there. I don't quite know where it's going to be. It'll be there. Now, as you may know, I've mentioned before, we've got a big job on at the moment in Woking. And I thought because of this, I'd buy a bulk load of materials. So I was looking at masking tape, cork, floor protector, stuff like that, run the mill stuff. Um, and it's not until just now when I went, sat down and went through the invoices from the suppliers online and compared them to what I have been paying in uh, screw fix and places like that, that I've actually realized how much I've actually been paying over the top. Without further ado, let's have a look at the figures. Okay, so let's start off with this, the items that I've bought. I've got a selection here. I've not got everything because I know cork is quite a, uh, quite a hot topic. People are very fussy about what cork they use, so I avoided that. Floor protector is another one. So I've not, I mean, that's very difficult to compare because there's so much stuff out there that's, that's uh, good stuff, bad stuff. So I've not included that. What I've included is two lots of masking tape and some masking paper. The masking tape I've actually had supplied to me is in Dessa, so I've tried to get an equal grade of masking tape in these prices. Okay, before we start, let's have a look at the materials that I bought, or the quantities rather than the materials. I was looking for prices on 20 rolls of two inch masking tape, 36 rolls of an inch masking tape, and 12 rolls of the 300 or 12 inch masking paper. So if we start off with the Decorator Center, DDC, uh, their two inch masking tape was £3.72, their inch was one ninety five, and their masking paper was £8.41. Now I can appreciate you're gonna get, if you've got an account, you'll probably get these prices a bit cheaper, but I could only go by the website prices on all these, so that's what we've gone with. If we move on to Tool Station, their two inch masking tape was £2.08p, their inch, was 182 and their masking paper was £3.99 a roll. Screw fix for their 2 inch you're looking at £2.39 for their inch £2.49 and they don't do the masking paper so I thought the only fair way was say, to take an average of the other three suppliers in which case that came out at £5.26 so we've got all the totals there if we add these up the total price you'll be paying if you bought it from DDC, £245.52. From Tool Station, £155. And from Screw Fix, £200.56p. So, there's already looking at those three against each other, there's quite a saving. So, let's move on and see what I managed to get these items for online. For the two inch masking tape, I was paying one pound eighty-five for which, and to bear in mind, these this is Indessa as well. We're comparing it to, so I mean that is a reasonable tape at a reasonably good, well, a very good price, I'd say. Uh, the inch masking tape, one pound and eight p, and the masking paper of three pound forty, and that would give us a total of. Let's have a look where we are, we're not there. The total for that would be £116.68p, which is a considerable saving. So compared against uh, the Decorator Centre, DDC, you're gonna be saving yourself £128.84 on one order. It's, you know, it's shocking really. Uh, tool station, how much would we save? £38.32 which is still a reasonable amount. And for screw fix, you'll be saving yourself £83.88. So I think there is a good example, guys, of just taking, you know, maybe an hour out of your day to uh, save yourself, you know, some, some serious money. 
after those figures it just goes to show guys if you sit down and plan your materials and what you're going to buy and if even better if you've got a place where you can keep them you know it's well worth getting a bulk buying and stopping this habit and i'm as bad i've got it's a terrible habit of just going past jumping into these places and buying your materials because oh f i forgot that oh f i forgot something else and i think I'm, we're all as bad at, you know when none of us are really good at it but if you make a determined effort to sit down put an order in you'd only have to do it you know once a month every two months you could be saving yourself a small fortune i hope you found that was useful uh, if you did like i say click subscribe hit the bell icon and uh take care i'll speak to you soon Thank you.